Hello everyone, my name's George Farmer and this video is all about how I aquascape this Aquascaper 600 Aquarium. I've used a combination of Denelay scapers soil here, uh, some beautiful Denelay in vitro plants, so there's a combination there of my Cranthamum species Monte Carlo and also a, a dwarf hair grass species Eleocaris piscilla. And finally I've used some locally collected stone. I hope you enjoy the video. I've got a bag of scaper soil here from Denelay, I'm just going to pour it straight in. Then we can just flatten that out with our hands quickly. So when we're working with rocks we call it an Iwagumi layout. Now this rock is a little bit different to usual because it's quite rounded. Um, we tend to use more uh, pronounced edges with rocks. Um, but it's still beautiful, it's got some really interesting lines. And with Iwagumi it's trying to, trying to make it look as natural as possible. So we're thinking about aesthetic balance, we're thinking about using the strata in the stone, the natural lines, and making sure they all look as natural as possible. So we've put a couple of bags of uh, Denelay scape with soil in there, uh, and that's on top of some volcano mineral. I'm going to be planting some beautiful Denelay plants, in vitro plants. So um, we've got some Microanthemum Monte Carlo and some Eleocaris piscilla. So this is a bit like a dwarf hair grass. So these are tissue culture plants in vitro and really, really good quality. Uh, in vitro is really good because you're guaranteed to have uh, no pests, there won't be any snails or no, or no algae. They're produced in laboratory conditions so you can guarantee they're going to be really good quality. You get a lot of plant for your money as well. It might look like a small portion but actually because it's so small, it's basically a baby plant, you get lots more um, quantity. Um, they might just not be as big, but you do get a lot for your money. So the next thing I do, I just go through the planting process, separate the plants into individual portions, and then plant them using some aquascaping tweezers. So I'll just show you how I prepare a, a pot of denylate in vitro plants. So this is Eleocaris piscilla, dwarf hair grass. Simply remove the, the lid, and you can get your plant, and it'll come out in one portion like so. And then what I like to do is just flick it and that will get rid of all the, the um, a lot of the agar jelly which you need to get rid of before you plant ideally. And then once you've done that you can separate it into as many portions as you like. The more portions you separate into the better coverage you'll get. And we just literally tease the roots apart. Really simple. We'll probably divide this into 10-12 portions. And there we have a pot already separated, ready for planting. Okay, so I've divided one pot into about 12 different portions and I'm just going to plant that around the rocks. Uh, the Monte Carlo will go um, around, around the soil, but I'll put, plant all the hair grass towards the rocks. And then you can just bury that into the soil. Okay, so we've planted the Eleocaris piscilla. Um, I've used about seven or eight pots. So next stage is to plant our Monte Carlo. So exactly the same process as before. Just remove the lid. Take the chunk of plants out like so. And you can see the agar jelly there. We need to remove that so I just flick it off hopefully. And then we can just separate that into portions. Okay, so we've planted our Microanthemum Monte Carlo and Eleocaris piscilla from Denelay using their in vitro plants. I've used six pots of each um, and it's covered quite nicely. Uh, next step is going to be slowly fill the aquarium with water. Uh, we do it really slowly to hopefully avoid any clouding. Okay, so uh, we filled up the aquarium, it's about two thirds, maybe three quarters full. Okay, so we've filled the aquarium to the top, we've fitted our equipment, we've got an external filter with glass inlet and outlet, and the glass inlet and outlet help minimise any distraction on the aquascape. And as you can see, in the six weeks, the plants have grown really well. Uh, that's testament to the really good soil that we're using, Danilay Scaper soil. I'm using a comprehensive liquid fertiliser every day, and I'm also injecting CO2. Uh, the fish have settled in really well. These are juvenile golden barbs and I'm feeding them a really small dry food from Denelay. 
uh, the Denele Complete Food, which is really good. And I'm really happy with the Aquascape.